Hey everyone, it's Monica from My Big Camera. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous balloon garland for under $10 with supplies I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I will be showing you a little behind the scenes clip of my dog smashing his birthday cake for his second birthday, so be sure to stick around all the way to the end. This balloon garland is super easy to make and super inexpensive, but it looks beautiful and very impressive for a cake smash. This is my first time ever making a balloon garland and it was on camera, so if I can do it, you could definitely do it too. Okay, let's get into it. So lately I've been seeing a lot of photographers using balloon garlands for cake smash sessions. We wanted to give it a try for a cake smash session for our dog, Ridley, who just turned two years old this month. Because yes, we're a little crazy, and yes, we do spoil our dogs a little too much. Okay, so to make the garland, you will need some balloons. Dollar Tree has these pretty pearl finished balloons in several colors. Ideally, you should have two different size balloons, 12 inch ones, and five or six inch balloons. But my Dollar Tree only had 12 inch ones, so we will be blowing up some of the balloons less than normal to act as our small balloons. I got nine packages of balloons in three different colors, but I didn't actually end up using all of the balloons, so you can probably get away with just using two packages of each color. You will also need clear fishing line or clear beading wire. I couldn't find any at my Dollar Tree, so I bought this spool of fishing line from Walmart for $3. I also highly, highly recommend an electric balloon pump as it will make your life a whole lot easier and a whole lot less frustrating. I will link the one I bought off of Amazon in the description below. In my opinion, it's an amazing investment for $30 if you do a lot of cake smash sessions. If you don't want to spend the money, Dollar Tree also sells a hand balloon pump, which will still be a lot easier than blowing up the balloons yourself. Okay, so let's get started. First, I will show you how to blow up the large balloons. To use the pump, just place the mouth of the balloon over the blue nozzle and then gently press down on the nozzle. You want the balloons to be more round and squishy rather than egg shaped so don't blow up the balloons all the way. Once you've blown up the balloon, pinch it closed and switch it to your other hand and while holding it, blow up the second balloon. Then you're going to take the two balloons and tie them together. One thing I learned after doing this is that you should pull your knots really tight and even double knot them because the next day some of my balloons had deflated a bit and I needed to redo them. Once I redid them with double knots, the balloon garland lasted for several days. Now we're going to do the smaller ones. So for these you just want to blow them up to about half the size of the larger ones and then just like before, pinch the first one close. Blow up a second balloon and then double knot the two balloons together. The colors that you use really don't matter. Try to keep them random or if you're trying to create a more structured design you can pair specific colors together. Now what you're going to do is blow up another pair of large balloons, tie them together like before, and then you're going to take the first pair you made and twist the two pairs together to create a cluster of four large balloons. For the small balloons, we're just going to keep those as pairs because we're going to use those to fill in gaps in our main garland once we're done. I'm speeding up the video to save you from having to watch me struggle with these for 10 minutes. Okay, so here are all of my completed balloons. This literally only took me about 10 minutes to blow all of these up. Initially created 7 clusters of large balloons and 15 pairs of little balloons, but ended up adding 2 more large clusters and 4 more small pairs afterwards. Now what you're going to do is take your fishing line, unravel maybe a 2 foot piece so you can hang it, and then you're going to take one of the large balloon clusters and sort of wrap the fishing line around the middle of the cluster a bunch of times.
then you will take your next cluster, line it up next to the first one, and wrap the fishing line around the middle of the cluster to secure it into place. Continue adding your large clusters in the same way until all of your clusters have been added. Now what you're going to do is take your small balloon pairs and sort of twist them around your large balloons or the fishing line to fill in some of the holes or to finish off your design. You may need to force these in a bit, but trust me, they can take a lot of force since they're so squishy, so you shouldn't have any pop on you. And this is my final garland. I decided on an S-curve, so I added those additional balloon clusters like I mentioned before to make the garland longer, but after photographing it, I think I actually prefer more of an arch instead, so you probably don't need to add those extra balloons if you just want a simple arch. You should just be able to manipulate the garland into the shape you want. I ended up tying mine from the middle with fishing line to the backdrop stand to help get the shape I wanted. Leave some fishing line on the other end of the garland so you can also attach the garland to the sides of your backdrop stand. I do really love the look of the garland and how it turned out and it was so easy to make. It only took me about 20 minutes total and it was so cheap so it will be a really nice option to add to our cake smash packages for clients to choose from. You can get really creative with it and maybe add things like greenery or flowers to make it look even nicer. Okay so now for the fun part. Here's a small behind the scenes clip and a few photos of our dog's cake smash. He's a beagle, so of course he went crazy. The delicious dog cake is made from a local place here in Calgary called Cheddar Dogs that specializes in making dog treats that use all natural ingredients and no artificial dyes or flavors, so it's completely safe and also very delicious for dogs. If you live in the Calgary area, I highly recommend checking her out. I will leave a link to her page down in the description. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe as well if you enjoy content like this. Also be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified the next time we release another video. Also if you want our free Photoshop actions for editing newborns and portraits, you can download them by clicking the link down in the description. Bye for now and remember, keep creating!